Pisces, welcome to 2020. I hope you guys are doing fantastic, Pisces. So Pisces, let's see what's going on with you for the first half of January. January 1st through the 15th, what's going on with Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? So Pisces, I will say, side note, that you know, in some of the readings in the uh, last couple of days of uh, December, the sacral chakra card was coming up for you guys, and you know, we talked about it, didn't think anything of it, but I went on vacation and I got sick, okay? I was throwing up, I think I got the stomach uh, virus or some sort of food poisoning, my stomach felt all funny, and then I was watching another tarot uh, video, which I do seldomly, and the sacral chakra card came out, and I was like, wow, I'm going through a sacral chakra clearing here. Um, and, you know, Pisces, sacral chakra, again, you know, getting in touch with your personal power could be dealing with overindulgences. Before I went on vacation, I think I had like four coffees, you know, I was just eating all types of bullshit. So, um, you know, that could have, have been something that some of you Pisces are going, you know, have went through. Maybe you guys got sick, maybe you guys were overindulging. Again, all for greater balance because now I'm back on the ball. Now I'm doing two a days at the gym, you know, which isn't, uh, you know, random or, or isn't um far-fetched for me i do that anyway but yeah really getting back on it um on a, another side note some of you pisces could have gotten communication from someone and you know could be a little skeptical about it what i got from that pisces is that you know you're kind of open you're open but you aren't just jumping in like you know both feet in you're, you're being observant and taking it slow as you should pisces as you should you know getting to see people's real motives and whatnot so let's see i'm really intrigued to see what is going on with pisces what is going on with pisces spirit angels and guides clear messages for pisces clear messages what does pisces need to know clear messages for pisces clear messages for pisces clear clear and concise messages pisces january 1st through the 15th january 1st through the 15th january 1st through the 15th for pisces January 1st through the 15th for Pisces. 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 January 1st through the 15th for Pisces. Clear messages. Clear messages, Spirit. Clear messages for Pisces. Thank you. Pisces, bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups, Pisces. So Pisces, this came out in one of your other readings as well, bottom of the decks, you know, some sudden awareness that you want to choose happiness, you know. The Four of Cups in the upright is feeling dissatisfied. It's maybe, you know, the spirit or, or someone bringing you an offer that you're kind of skeptical or not sure about. But in the reverse, it's really deciding to choose your happiness, okay, to, to, to you know, move forward, to accept whatever you know, has happened in the situation and kind of like this awakening, like, why am I dissatisfied? Why am I sitting or staying in this energy? So Pisces, the base of your reading, we have the Queen of Cups and what's helping or hindering you, which kind of how it viewed like that was a four of uh, wands in the reverse. So Pisces, if you see this visual, this Queen of Cups is, is here kind of nurturing herself, being compassionate to herself, taking care of herself, despite whatever lack of celebration or whatever lack of support. I feel here like you kind of have your back turned to whatever lack of support and you're really understanding that you need to nurture yourself, feel comfort within yourself, and um, that's beautiful. So your conscious mind, Pisces, again, feel free to reverse the roles. This can be someone in, the, in your external but uh, the Knight of Swords in the reverse here. So some sort of missed opportunity. Some, you know, um, someone here that is um, kind of laying low, not being assertive, not taking action. Kind of like passive aggressive type of energy. Let's see here. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Pisces Conscious Mind? Knight of Swords here for Pisces Conscious Mind. The Hermit. Could be dealing with uh, a Taurus, okay? Or some sort of energy of, of someone that's a spiritual teacher, okay? Someone involved in their church, someone involved in, um, in, in, in some, you know, could be a, an actual teacher, uh, you know, school teacher. Someone that it just embodies the energy of, of being that leader spiritually, okay? So I feel here like someone is, you know, um, 
someone here has some sort of lack of direction, Pisces, and, and this could this could be you here because I'm seeing here your hopes and fears, Pisces, and I jumped ahead, but the two of swords, okay, making some sort of decision, okay, and the outcome for you, I'm just going to skip to it, the eight of swords, so being stuck in your head, again, we're going to clarify these, Pisces, but you could be feeling a little bit lack of direction, Pisces, in some sense, okay, you are definitely being that spiritual teacher, um, you know, that spirituality could be, could also mean stuck in the ways, also someone you're dealing with, you know, could be a spiritual person, but lacks some sort of direction or lacks taking action in some sense, okay? So, you know, you're here nurturing yourself despite this lack of support, despite someone coming forward. So, let's see here. Your unconscious mind, Pisces, the fool in the reverse, okay? Maybe some, some you know, felt, you know, like someone was inconsiderate or maybe there isn't some new beginning here. Why is the fool here in the reverse for Pisces' unconscious mind? Fool here in the reverse for Pisces' unconscious mind. The devil. So maybe there's, you know, some, um, some illusions, some distractions around a new beginning, okay, that is set to happen. But, you know, maybe you, Pisces, the distractions that are coming up for you are mental thoughts or maybe if it's someone in, in your surroundings Pisces maybe they're being distracted with with money you know with with whatever other types of things and that's why this this new beginning isn't taken off the ground again you're nurturing yourself a lot Pisces despite this lack of support despite this lack of celebration I'm sorry for the glare here you're nurturing yourself that is a one good thing Pisces I, I think here you've gotten to a point of really just being okay. Again, this is the energy of manifestation. When you're just nurturing yourself and you let go of any attachments to an outcome, you're able to let the energy come in. So effects of the past, the king of pentacles in the reverse, you know, some sort of lack of, of stability, okay? Maybe there wasn't any type of, of stable offer. Here in your future, Pisces, the chariot. Let's see here. You have some sort of decision. And again, going back to your hopes and fears, some sort of decision. Maybe this person that didn't, you know, you didn't have a new beginning in the past, okay? Maybe this is why this is in your unconscious mind because this happened in the past, Pisces. Again, someone didn't bring you some sort of stable offer. There was no new beginning because, you know, the devil energies of, of, of illusion, of distractions, of toxicity of the mind, okay? And that's just what's stuck in your mind. So you're here kind of just being the hierophant, being in your element, and not taking any direction towards this person or and now or a situation and now you have you had a crossroads now you have some sort of decision to make why is a chariot here why is a chariot here for pisces next move why is a chariot here for pisces next move okay yeah pisces because you you let go you 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 let go you you had to let go of something that you felt you were defeated from some sort of ending maybe a chapter in your relationship or situation okay there was some sort of defeat okay and then you had to detach yourself from it you had to detach and now you're kind of at a crossroads like do i fully do i go i mean maybe this person you know as we mentioned maybe this person kind of came back okay yeah someone after self-sabotaging now wants to is having remorse now wants to communicate now wants to reconcile now wants to compromise this is exactly what we're talking about someone from the past or, or situation came back and now is you know but you're a little skeptical about it okay again you you had to detach yourself from that you detached yourself from that which was great pisces and now you're really nurturing yourself again this is probably what brought it in even faster Okay, but there was some sort of ending and someone now wants to make something, you know, they want to communicate. How you see yourself, the three of swords in the reverse, you, you're healing, you've healed, okay? You're in the process of really getting, you know, moving forward from this. Your external environment, Pisces, the king of cups in the reverse, so someone is moody and disappointed here. Someone is, uh, you know... May, feels emotion but not expressing here what is this king of cups in the reverse for pisces environment king of cups in the reverse for pisces environment king of cups in the reverse for pisces environment you could be dealing here with a taurus could have been with a capricorn
cancer. Why is the King of Cups in the reverse here for Pisces? King of Cups in the reverse here for Pisces environment. King of Cups in the reverse for Pisces environment. Okay. Whoa, okay. Okay, we have three cards. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Tower. So some sort of shake up within themselves happened, okay? Maybe this person, the universe came up and shook their inner world, okay? And really, you know, how they shook up their inner world is with these emotions, with these memories coming up, with this desire to, to, to you know, these happy feelings, these memories of you, these, you know, this person sees you in, in, in high regards, you know, they have good memories about you. And now they want to, give now they want to bring clarity to the situation now they want to you know balance this out with you pisces okay and now pisces your hopes and fears you know you're you're indecisive some hard decision here outcome eight of swords now you're thinking okay you know this person or this situation that that you know was inconsiderate that you know made me feel neglected that you know made me feel all these types of things that made me feel heartbreaking now that i'm healing from it and healed now this comes back now now your pisces kind of like you know in your head about it let's see here why is this eight of swords for pisces environment why is the eight of swords here for pisces external uh outcome Seven of Cups in the reverse. Confused about the options, Pisces. You're confused. There's a lot of diversion here about these options. You don't know where to what to pick. Not, now you don't know which decision to, to go with. One more for Pisces outcome. One more for Pisces outcome. Eight of Swords and a Seven. We have Justice in the reverse and the two of wands so pisces you know you're 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 maybe thinking in your head about how a situation was not just in the past how something wasn't balanced okay how something wasn't balanced so this could speak to pisces that the fact that this energy of being eight of swords almost afraid okay almost in a way holding yourself back because of of, of things from the past again are you listening to, intu to your intuition or, or are you or are, is your conscious mind just replaying events from the past, okay? I feel here that, you know, this could also speak that, you know, this, this energy of, of being confused in your head, this, is, this energy is imbalanced, okay? But I feel here, Pisces, that you're planning. You're really looking at, you know, where to take it from here. This, this, this boy is holding the world, kind of like, you know, seeing where to go from here, making decisions, could be leaving home, could be leaving a situation to go towards another. Let's see here, more clarification. What is the outcome here for Pisces? What is the outcome here for Pisces? What is this, what is this uh, Eight of Swords? What is the outcome here for Pisces from January 1st through the 15th? January 1st through the 15th. What is the outcome for Pisces? January 1st through the 15th. January 1st through the 15th. So something coming back around, Pisces. I do see you centered within yourself, Pisces. You, you've been compassionate to yourself. You, you, you know, despite whatever type of, of chaos in your environment or lack of support or lack of celebration, you really learned to nurture yourself. But now, it's once you've nurtured yourself and got yourself there, it's almost like the next step, something coming back, and you're afraid to open back up. Because, you know, you it took you a while. It, it, it was hard work to get to the point where you felt okay. What is, what is the outcome for Pisces here? What is the outcome for Pisces here? Why is the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands, Seven of Cups in the verse? What is the outcome for Pisces here? One more. One more. Let's see. So we have positive movement forward that popped out in the reverse. Doesn't necessarily, I'm getting for, you know, again, 
being in the energy of, of being stuck in your head and you know having these hard decisions and not knowing where to take that could that could stall the positive movement forward but i see here you pisces you you planning you moving forward again you know leaving okay there is positive movement forward to be had here pisces and then we have authority could be dealing with some aries you know or some structured type of individual but this also means really you know getting structured and getting very clear within yourself okay Ma being decisive making decisions stepping into your power okay again that inner power the the the, the sacral chakra energy i'm scarred from the, being sick but you know I've, i had that epiphany i'm also being drawn to the sacral here the 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 yellow that is around this this person they're in their power Let's see here what can you tell us about this situation spirit angels and guides what can you tell us what can you tell us about the situation what can you tell us about the situation pisces pisces from january 1st to the 15th pisces january 1st to the 15th what can you tell us about the situation spirit angels and guides clear messages for pisces what does Pisces need to know? Victory? All tied up. The world in action. The world in the reverse. Okay, so there's, there's something that was incomplete, some lack of closure here, but I feel here, Pisces, that... There is victory to be had, but this is how you're currently feeling maybe in the situation or with this person or, you know, this job, whatever. You're feeling all tied up. You're afraid. A part of you is afraid to move forward because you don't want to go back to, to a situation that, that broke your heart, that made you feel grief, this loss, okay? A part of you is feeling all tied up. But what it's saying here, Pisces, is you can have a lot of fulfillment and, and you know, this... There is a completion here, but action is going to be needed. And once you do, there is going to be victory, okay? I'm, I'm seeing that, that there is victory. But Pisces, the only way that you could go wrong here, okay, is by staying in this energy of being in your head, you know, confused about the decisions and therefore not balancing out this, this scenario and not bringing victory to yourself. So... The only way that you can limit yourself in this situation is you. Like, the decision is on you, I'm seeing, Pisces. Something is coming back around. They do say if you let something go and it comes back around, you know, then, then, then there's something to be said about that, okay? Again, not if something leaves, like, 17 times and then wants to come back to you. Then you need to, like, cut that loose and let it go. But, Pisces, a very interesting energy here of something returning to you, but you're kind of afraid to dabble in it again because of, of how it left you last time. Mm, let's see. So let's get some uh, just some abundance cards to wrap this up. Abundance cards to wrap this up. Let's see what's going on with Pisces money. What's going on with Pisces money? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Pisces. We got two. Savings at the bottom of the deck, Pisces. Save money, Pisces. Important. Save money. Quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from the inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Very fitting. I believe that's what you're doing, Pisces. You are, you, you're, you're really trying to get clear. You're, I feel like you're going to need, you're going to take a moment to retreat because you want to be clear about the decision moving forward, okay? You want to be clear and make sure that it's out of a place of, of, of power and um, not just, um, you know, making the wrong decision again or feel like you're making the wrong decision. It's safe for you to receive, Pisces. Wow. There's something coming in that is safe for you to receive that you're going to have victory in. But you're contemplating, Pisces. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you'll have available to share with others. Open your arms and receive. Be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. 
What are the odds we get these two cards together? Very fitting for this scenario, right? Quiet retreat, taking time out to really make this decision that's gonna that's that's hard for you, okay? But it is safe for you to receive. Pisces, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, talk to you guys soon.